um, exactly a year ago in May 2017 the Deutsche Bank uh, which is one of the bigger players if not the biggest uh, player in Germany operating worldwide you know branches business all over the world uh, named Wellington the liveliest city in the world and they ask people uh, so they came up with terms like it's a young city it's very safe to go out here day and night um, almost pollution free you know it's um, a great hip-hop community it's a young city a lot of universities here um, beside there is a um, uh, you know, very ex yeah, ex extended um, startup business uh, community as well yes of course the coffee culture we had in the last video what you mostly find is uh, in cities of course there's architecture uh, buildings and everything which uh, you know are like historical points remark points of uh, the city itself uh, i consider a city more about the vibe and the people because like you know you can have the best buildings and the most interesting things if there are no people there is no uh, living no wipe and just no fun and uh, like there's no for no reason the term of ghost cities those cities abundant from people they uh, might have nice sceneries but um, you know nothing is there nobody is there so there's just uh, nothing to see and talk about here in Wellington you have uh, really the people are very friendly uh, is uh, another thing I want to say uh, thank you for all the people that give me comments because it helps me to figure out what uh, might is interesting for people there was one comment on my YouTube channel and he said um, he would like to know more about the pricing and how it is here in New Zealand uh, it is like cheap average or expensive uh, this is a very subjective question uh, how can you answer that depends on the budget you travel if you have um, like a backpackers budget you will probably consider New Zealand more expensive country uh, I go not with that you know you can do Airbnbs uh, for me I don't feel like that I feel that I get pretty much uh, value for my money uh, like you know if I go a place and I pay like for the last time the beer it took like eight New Zealand dollar now if I you know convert this then to euros it's a pretty much the same if I would go out in Germany Holland for me is even more expensive I think especially the travel costs uh, as I arrived I was thinking to get myself a rental which I usually do but then I figured uh, there's uh, the public transport and the railway stations the train connections buses is very much you know um, uh, sophisticated here uh, you don't really have to get a rental to see um, uh, most of the city I have like from my place where I live it's about 25 kilometers from uh, Wellington City so it's uh, half an hour by train which is nothing uh, you can get uh, you know a strip card where you have like 10 rides for free so it's five times you know single trip and return is uh, two strips so um, well I pay like a 65 New Zealand dollar for that thing and uh, it's really worth the money uh, it's again half an hour and um, you know if you want to rent a car uh, like a little small car just go with about 30 dollars a day you know for, you know the gasoline is as in the same yeah in the rest of all the world not that cheap anymore Europe uh, I think is pretty much really comparable with New Zealand the quality of the food here you know is very high I appreciate that pretty much um, you yeah this is a little bit how you you know see the country and what do you want to see of course you can go for cheap stores you have a lot of um, sushi Chinese Vietnamese uh, food like that here like little shops where you can go I guess I haven't done this yet but I guess if you go out uh, for a real dinner it will be a little bit more expensive but you know if you do you I'm pretty much sure that you have uh, a great uh, quality of food which is important to me at least you know uh, there is another thing they have like of course a cruise ship season here which starts in October and it goes like I think February something like that so from October on you have like um, several cruises a week they come here to New Zealand and especially to Wellington and there are a lot of tour guides you know they would be happy to um, whatever you you know show you around the city and show you all the things uh, they think uh, are necessary to see while you are in Wellington so this is another uh, thing 
something maybe you know if you don't want to come for a longer stay or for staying here for for some days i mean you can go again with the airbnb or after that you have the hostels the hotels you know whatever there are plenty of ways uh, to travel these days um you know me the the house sitting works pretty well and then i have all my you know i don't have any costs for the accommodation i just pay uh, what i you know spend uh, while i'm you know out and about or while i'm traveling so yeah this is uh, all for today so i hope you enjoyed this a little bit and um yeah again cost is really uh, where you're coming from what is your budget and what kind of uh, thing you want to have oh about the car if you uh, rent a small car it's about 30 dollars if you go for a bigger um car let's say a family car i think you will end up with a 45 dollars at least a day maybe 50 and so you see it's just up to what what you are looking for so well now i'm walking around a little bit more and just give you some impressions of wellington downtown and the big city big city life <laughs> always where you can sit down it's all like on the waterfront for people if you're having lunch or whatever just chilling see that so yeah okay and I'm walking very good to do by foot um, what else yeah you see there that direction no so this direction here behind me you're going to Lambton Cay where you find uh, all the things you are looking for so just walking 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 I've planned a short trip to Hamilton uh, this weekend so um, I wish you a good weekend and I see you in my next video and don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel Mosh2110. Bye!